Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, today I thought I would do a lip swatch video, which if we know anything about me, it's that I love whole things lip swatches. Um, I have been sent more goodies from Lip Candy in Toronto, so I thought I would do a swatch of all of the lip, lip candy products that I now have in my collection. So if you want to see the most gorgeous lip products, in action, then please just keep on watching. Okay, um, so in my magical new collection, I now have four of these lip glosses. How am I doing this? These are them here. They are so gorgeous. I mean, can we talk about even the packaging for a second? And then I also have two of the prettiest lipsticks. I can't even right now. I mean, no. Okay, let us start. We'll go from lightest shade to darkest shade and end with a shade I know you will all love. So first I'm going to go in with the gloss in the shade Perfectly Sheer. Again, I love the packaging. I mean, Super luxe, super pretty. I've obviously raved about um, my OG2 lip products, these ones here. I love the formula, I love the scent, everything about them is literally amazing. So this is a new shade to me and it's definitely going on very sheer. It's almost just like a like a milky bomb, which I am certainly here for. This is perfect for no makeup makeup looks. If you're zipping out of the house to run some errands, I feel like just throw this on and you are all set. I can definitely feel it on the lips, which I really like, but it's like very balmy, not sticky at all not greasy like I know a lot of lip balms are or lip glosses so this is definitely lovely and again that is in the shade perfectly sheer Obsessed. okay next up is my ultimate favorite so far um this is the shade pampered I've talked about this many times already um so it's like a your lips but better shade Oh, it's gorgeous. I love so far these two. I haven't needed to put on a lip liner. I can obviously just look into my camera to apply them. It's amazing. This is certainly my perfect nude. I'm obsessed. Um, again, so that is the shade Pampered. Amazing. Now we are going to get into two of the darker looking glosses and I cannot wait. Okay, so this next shade is Fashionista. This is a new one to me. I haven't tried this one on yet. So let's put it on and witness it together. Ooh. This is a super unique shade. It's like a bit more of a corally nude, I think. At least that's how it's showing up on me. And I quite like that. That is super cool. Yes, so that is in the shade Fashionista. Nice. Last of the lip glosses that I have is this one to die for, and it is in the shade Mary Berry. <sighs> the 
This is incredible. I've obviously played with this shade before, but I feel like that's my reaction every time I see it because it's <laughs> so pretty. Like, definitely perfect holiday shade, but also I feel like just perfect shade all year round. Valentine's Day. <laughs> this is lovely. And again, these glosses have like a um, blueberry kind of scent. Super comfortable, not sticky at all. They are long lasting. They're just so comfortable on the lips. So that is the shade Mary Berry. If I have it on my teeth, don't bother letting me know. <laughs> Last but not least, I've got two of the lipsticks, which these are new. I've never tried their lipsticks before. So I was sent by Bismati, Markle Sparkle, and Party Girl. I have swatched Party Girl. If you follow me on Instagram, at Lipstick and Bubbly, you saw this in action yesterday or whenever I'm posting this. <sighs> it's gorgeous. Let's start with Markle Sparkle. Again, packaging is so cute. <laughs> I mean, come on. I'm going to not use a, a mirror again and just see how easy it is. So easy. Okay. I have many thoughts. It smells pepperminty. I like that in this lipstick. It is so pigmented. So comfortable. It's not drying in the slightest. It just feels very creamy and comfortable on the lips. I almost don't even know. I almost can't even feel like there's anything on my lips, if that makes sense. This shade. Yes. I am feeling this shade. This is gorgeous. Markle Sparkle. I almost want to see too if I can just dab it on for like a really light stain. Let's see. Okay, let's just dab it on. Okay. Yes. I like this light for me. So a super light layer almost just gives like a, um, a stain effect, like a, almost a popsicle stain if I knew how to do that. You could definitely do it with this. I like that. I like that a lot. So again, Markle Sparkle, in case you didn't know, I'm obsessed with that name. Last step, Party Girl. Oh my goodness. The moment has arrived for us to swatch Party Girl. Get ready. I'll give you a moment to take in the beauty that is the shade. Wow. My friends. <laughs> I'm shitting. Um, name me a better red. I'll wait. This is beyond gorgeous. I mean, I don't even know that I have a red that is as gorgeous as this. Thank you, Jesus, for Party Girl. Okay. I will spend the rest of the day in this heavenly shade because it is literally gorgeous. My application, <laughs> that was rough. Okay, better. But anyways, those were my swatches of all things lip candy. 
please let me know down below which one was your favorite. It's hard to pick a favorite because they're all so incredible. Um, this Party Girl shade. <laughs> Nothing quite compares to this. It's made in Canada. The owner is incredible. She's literally amazing. These are high quality lipsticks made with natural products. You're not putting junk on your lips, on your face. What more do you need to say? Also, now that I'm seeing this, I could also probably dab this out and use that as a, br a blush. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, those are my lip candy swatches. Again, let me know which one is your favorite below. If you can even pick a favorite, I love them all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.